May 5th, 2020, Tuesday of the fourth week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenaeans among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ear of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion they shall say, One in all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Tuesday of the fourth week of Easter. Today's reflection is entitled, The Language of Jesus. Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. This statement of Jesus may left his followers confused. They wanted to believe that Jesus was the Messiah, and so they asked him to tell them plainly if he was the Messiah. And how did he respond? He tells them that he already told them and they failed to believe. This is an interesting situation. The first thing to say about this is that Jesus was not being critical. He was helping them to understand his language. 
He was helping them to understand that the answer to their question was not a matter of Jesus simply telling them, I am the Messiah. Rather, the answer to their question had to come to them from the Father in heaven, spoken to their hearts as they listened to Jesus and witnessed his miracles. The answer was to be given to them by the gift of faith that had to be received from within. This gift of faith would give them the certainty they so desire. The same is true with us. Perhaps you've wanted God to come down from heaven at times and tell you plainly the answer to this or that question. But he does not do that. He does it in his own perfect way, with his perfect language. It's a language of faith and it requires a complete submission of our minds and wills to God to hear and understand. This is the only way to become converted in the way God wants us to be. Reflect today how well you listen to God speak. You most likely can learn to listen to Him more clearly, discerning His voice of truth. As you hear Him, let yourself become completely convinced of all that He says and let that deep conviction rule your life. Let us pray. Lord, I so often do not let myself hear you plainly through the gift of faith. I so often want the easy answer to the difficult questions. Help me to grow in patience so that I may know you and allow you to become my true shepherd. Jesus, I trust in you.